Let's get on with this. This guy's named I Never. Now, Kenji, I'm not quite a rich, famous Minecraft YouTuber, but I feel like we're being stalked right now. What are your thoughts on this? Please stop talking to me, human. I do not enjoy you. All right, mate, just take the banana. Jesus Christ. That was so painful. Now that wasn't really in relation to that vegan teacher responding to me. That was just me um, feeling a little bit sad today. I'm not sure why, but uh, hopefully this video cheers me up. Uh, how are you doing? Welcome back to another video, my beautiful dumplings. I feel like this video is the Avengers Endgame of all of my videos on this channel, but I've probably said that around six times at this point. But alas, welcome back. Yes, that vegan teacher has responded to my last video with a 32 minute response. I. I think she has too much free time, but yeah. Now let's get on with this. This guy's named I Nabber. Yes, that is indeed my name. My name is I Nabber. I'm not too sure why, but it is. And uh, welcome to the channel, that vegan teacher. Now, if you don't really understand what is going on in this situation, basically I made a video two days ago about a YouTuber TikToker called That Vegan Teacher who has 1.6 million followers on TikTok. Basically, I said that, you know, she was making a few creepy TikToks here and there about your famous boy on the internet. Tommy in it. I'm at college and surrounded by women. Don't be scared, Tommy. Just follow that meat teacher, Miss Tofu. She'll help you find a nice vegan girl who will teach you what to do. I don't know. I think that's a bit dodgy, mate. Now, personally, me and a few others found this to be a little bit creepy. I felt like it was a bit too much midsummer and a little too less veganism. I felt like there was some real coldish things going on here with, come on, Tommy, we'll find you a nice old vegan girlfriend. Stay away from those dirty meat eaters. We're gonna get you a nice old, a nice old vegan girlfriend. I've got a vegan girlfriend and to be honest, she's bloody lovely. So maybe that vegan teacher is onto something. But in this video, um, she actually insults my girlfriend multiple times. I don't know how we've gotten to this, but we have. Basically, that vegan teacher's whole shtick is she will call you insane and evil and an asshole unless she put down the chicken nuggies. And now she did respond to me, as I've said about four times at this point, and it really did just result in me losing my mind on a live stream. This is like, an, kind of like an animal print, right? You could think it's not what the art and it's what? just What? What? So yes, I <laughs> I lost my mind. I, I I think we can all agree to that at this point. And if you came along to the live stream, thank you so much. And if you want me to do more live streams, just comment below yes, and I will do more in the future. Maybe we can do weekly ones on topics. But yeah, this 32 minute video, it's it's pretty uh in, insane, and there's a lot to cover here. And I'm not gonna go through absolutely every single point because I feel like me and you probably have some better things to be doing. But it's not that. It's just I struggle to listen to this woman for 32 minutes straight. So I'm. I'm just going to go through all of the worst ones, which does include her saying my girlfriend is uh, uh, the F word. She's extremely disappointed in you right now. She thinks you're a loser. But before I go into this video, I would once again like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel because it is my birthday on the 29th of January and I am going to leech that as much as possible. This person seems to be very upset that I am mocking her veganism. Not even that, just mocking her terrible takes about veganism because I actually really like vegans. They're normal human beings, shock horror. They're just like me and you. They just don't like to eat meaty chicken nuggies. They just have corn chicken nuggies. So if you want to subscribe and join the gang and join this wonderful community, that would be absolutely wonderful. I want to hit uh, 700,000 subs by my birthday, so if you want to sub, that would be bloody beautiful. Come join the gang and come have fun. Oh god, that, that sounded a little bit creepy. Tell me, look, I'm, I'm, I'm not Tony Lopez. Uh, let's get into this. First thing he says, I was vegan once, but I ate chicken nuggets. That's why he became non-vegan, because he ate chicken nuggets. You are not vegan if you go back to eating animals. You were just doing some weird fad diet. You totally did not get it. Being vegan is about the animals. It's an ethical baseline. 
there are moral principles involved. It's not about you losing weight. It's not about you at all. Well, for one, I was a vegan. I chose not to consume animal products and wear animal products and use animal-based products like, I don't know, shampoo. I chose not to do that. But then I thought to myself, hmm, I really like chicken nuggies and I'm locked inside my flat for a year. I feel like I'm just gonna order some comfort food because I just wanted some chicken nuggies, man. And I feel like that's perfectly fine if I wanted to do that. And it's perfectly fine if you want to do that. And it's perfectly fine if anyone wants to do that. If you want to be vegan, if you want to be a meat eater, that is completely your choice. It's nobody else's decision to make. The great thing about being human is that we can choose our diets. Unless it's uh, breaking the law, then um, please don't do that. But I do just have to ask you, that vegan teacher, can you stop pretending that you are better than absolutely everybody on this planet? Can you stop pretending that you are this ascended moral goddess of a being? This, this goddess who is just above everybody and is going to save humanity. It's, it's not that deep. It is not that deep. Get a brew, have a little have a little sip and then have a little chat with me and maybe respond again to give me some views that would be bloody wonderful. Uh, <laughs> just chill out. It's really not that deep. If a 16 year old called Tommy in it was taken 42 on the internet, wants to eat chicken nuggies, allow them to. If Tommy in it wants to mock vegans, allow him to. I personally don't even enjoy vegan jokes that much. I feel like they're very easy targets. I feel like they're very easy to make jokes about and it just gets a little bit boring. But if people want to make jokes about it, they can. And also to say it's not about you is also very concerning. It's not about you at all. Throughout this whole video, I seem to get this vibe that she is actually prioritizing pigs and cows and chickens over herself, over humanity. It genuinely seems like she is telling everybody that you need to prioritize chickens over humans. I, I, and I might sound crazy and evil when I say this, but uh, I feel like I am more important than uh, McDonald's chicken nuggies. Again, if you want to be a vegan, that's absolutely fine. In fact, let's all go to the comment section and unite here. Vegans, vegetarians, meat eaters, let's all unite over corn chicken nuggets and normal chicken, not normal, meat-based chicken nuggets. Go to the comment section and just type, I love nuggies, nuggies, chicken nuggies, anything like that, because I want to see some support. I want to get 5,000 comments on this video, and I just want to prove to this woman that her beliefs only damage veganism. Most vegans I believe really just think she's pretty much just a joke. Somebody who is a grifter, somebody that does this for reactions and they are completely right in believing that. Number two, she's been stalking Tommy in it. Well, as I've said before in many videos and you don't seem to be looking at them or doing your homework, there's nothing wrong with talking to somebody. This guy puts himself on TikTok. I'm on TikTok. Somebody says, go have a look at his account. I do, da da da, I go over there and he's making some silly statement he's joking around about being at college and he's surrounded by women and so i go with it you know he made a joke i go with the joke because i'm all about talking about the animals every single moment that i can that's my job in life because i was a complete asshole i ate animals for a long time and i don't want to be that person and i want to try to undo the damage and i want to prevent people from eating animals and paying into these horrific Cycles of I feel like it's very ignorant to instantaneously believe that everyone should immediately switch to veganism because I will get onto this in the future of this video, but there are a lot of factors that she is clearly not taking in here, and I will get onto that. But also, you calling everybody assholes because, you know, they like to eat chicken nuggets and just meat in general and animal-based products, that is not going to help your cause. That is only going to damage veganism, and it's amazing how much she actually damages veganism in this entire video. And also, with the Tommy in it thing, I literally said in my last video, it's not that deep. Just follow that meat teacher, Miss Tofu. She'll help you find a nice vegan girl who will teach you what to do. It's not nothing deep, but it's just a little bit odd. And I can see why a few people will be like, hey, uh, maybe don't. That is literally... <laughs> All I said about that, I said it's a little bit weird to go, Hey, wanna join my vegan cult where we can get you a nice old vegan girl? To a 16 year old is a little bit strange because I feel like it is like midsummer. Like that that is all I'm saying. It is just a little bit odd. You can do it, but I'm going to laugh at you. And that is that. That is the end of the story. You can print the book, sell the book, make money off the book, but that is the end of story on that topic. But then she just continues to misconstrue my points from my last video. She has had arguments with Tommy. No, I haven't. I made 
two videos about him. In my last video, I am basically agreeing with what you are saying here. I said it is hilarious to me because you are one way arguing. And I said, usually in an argument, it's two way. But in this situation, you are literally making TikToks on this guy, making videos on this guy, responding to videos about this guy. And I said, that's pretty funny because it's like you're arguing with somebody who doesn't even know who you are. And this is why I believe it's kind of becoming borderline stalking at this point, because usually with an argument or beef, it would be kind of one, like not one way. People would be saying things on both sides. This is becoming a very heavy trend in this video. She just keeps taking my points and misconstruing. I think it's because she's very angry. I feel like she's took an, like a personal attack to my video, but it really was just meant to be a little bit of a joke. Like, oh, funny super vegan. She's Superman, but a vegan. And, uh, you know, I uploaded the video and I didn't think it would actually get you this upset. Just relax. Maybe you also order some chicken nuggies if you really want to. It might... It might chill you out. But yeah, she gets extremely angry in this video. And the overall perception of that vegan teacher is uh, she's a little bit, you know, a little bit unhinged, a little bit erratic, one could say. But ironically enough, she actually has the balls to call somebody else crazy. And not me, another vegan. Another teacher called Miss Tofu. Okay, that meat teacher, Miss Tofu, that's another account. And she's a bit crazy, that woman. You know, she smokes carrots and dips them into hummus. Allow me to do one thing which I don't usually do, and that is be straight for one second. You're saying she gets carrot sticks, dips them into hummus, and then smokes them. What, is she fucking vegan Snoop Dogg? Does she get the does carrot stickers go, oh yeah. This is my, sh I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, but what are you saying? She's vegan Snoop Dogg. I, I just. It's, I, I don't know who this woman is. I, I, I no, it's, it's like there's vegan warfare going on here. But it just gets weirder and weirder because I guess she starts to imagine that Tommy in it is actually her student. Besides, he's going to college, and to me, college is your 18. Okay, I didn't know that this guy was 16, but whatever. Even still, I'm a teacher. What are you going to tell me? Not to talk to my students? If, if you go into a classroom and you're surrounded by six-year-olds, you're going to talk to them. Six, seven, 12, 14, 18, 102. Okay, that's fine. That's completely fine if they're your students. If you are teaching somebody in a classroom, you do the register and they are on your, that's, that's fine if you are teaching the topic about veganism, but you are literally arguing on the internet with 14 year old stan accounts titled Tommy and it was taken 64. That is what you are doing. You are not teaching anybody. You are a random 56 year old woman on the internet arguing with kids. And that is what I find hilarious. Like you're entitled to do it, but it, it, it's, it's just funny. She just has this really weird insistence on debating children on the internet. And I, I, I guess that really just does summarize her intelligence levels. Why are you debating 14 year olds on the internet? I'm debating anybody. If you're old enough to be on the internet, hopefully your parents are watching what you're doing. They don't want their kid to talk to me. Ban your kid, ban my account. Don't talk to me. If your kid is there telling me, ooh, vegans suck, I'm gonna say something back to that kid. Say vegan teacher, this is literally what I'm saying. This is what I find funny. You can't even allow a 14 year old to go on the internet. You know, oh, I'm, I'm going on Twitter. I'm going on RuneScape. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm playing Habbo Hotel and then boom. Super vegan saying, you're evil, you're a soulless little murderer. Timmy, Timmy age 13, what's that? What's that in your pat lunchbox? Is that, is that Daryl Dunkers? Well, that's got dairy products in you sick bastard. <laughs> Do you not find that hilarious? <laughs> Do you not think it's bizarre that you are literally just chasing kids on the internet? You are literally just going after them for no re go after an adult. I mean, thankfully in this situation, you actually are. But you've been going after kids and saying to yourself, Oh, I wonder why these kids are so reactionary. It's almost like they're kids. Number six, you are a bit weird. You know what? You know what's weird? Paying people to kill animals. You know what's weird? A grown man saying he was vegan, and now he isn't. That's weird. You know how much it hurts the animals, and you don't give a fuck? Your taste buds are more important? Yes. Yes, they are. Did you even bother to watch the video that I recommended? Did you watch Dominion.com? Did you watch Earthlings.com? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. Because it's very funny and entertaining 
watching you get this upset about it. Just gradually going through this video, she gets more and more aggressive. She starts swearing more and clearly getting upset that I'm a really funny, gorgeous, beautiful hunk of a human being. I'm a Greek god, but she seems to be getting really upset. I'm sorry, I, I, I can't even attempt to pretend to be vain, but she just seems to get upset at me for being really funny. I don't know why. Shame on you to come on here and try to convince everybody that it's okay to not be vegan. It's not okay to not be vegan. Everyone must not just be vegan, but be a vegan animal rights activist. It is the only way moving forward in this society to protect our planet from these incredible greenhouse gases that happen with these agriculture industries that, that terrorize these animals from the moment they are born till the moment that they die. It is absolutely heartbreaking and there is no excuse. Now I'm actually going to be serious for a second and say, if you're a vegan, that is absolutely great. Commends to you for being stronger willed than I ever was. But also, if you eat meat, if you enjoy a nice old beef burger, that is absolutely fine. Don't be gaslit by this woman into thinking that you are this awful human being because you consumed McDonald's or Burger King at one time. Actually, if you consumed Burger King, maybe you are awful and maybe that was a waste of a good old mooing cow. <laughs> But yeah, what I'm trying to say here is it's completely fine to be either of them. But also, if you are a vegan and you want to educate people, maybe just wait for somebody to uh, bring it up to you and then start saying it. Or maybe just tweet about it. That's absolutely fine. Make forums about it. That's cool because then people can go over there and find it. But don't target people who aren't vegans. That's just strange. And I think most vegans agree with that. And also, we have to speak about the circumstances that I referenced earlier. For example, a lot of kids just can't see simply go vegan. There are a lot of circumstances that clearly haven't been mentioned by that vegan teacher from an ignorant perspective of hers because I don't know her life experiences but she's clearly not acknowledging that some people may be in dangerous households, some people may be in households with a lower income, some people may just be with strict parents who aren't willing to let their kids go vegan. Now in your perspective, these kids who aren't allowed to go vegan are, are still assholes? Because I was a complete Asshole. I ate animals. Is that what you're saying here? Because based on what you are saying, that is what you are saying. And also, we are in such a depressing point of history right now. If people want to have comfort food, let them do it. Who cares? If you don't want to do that, brilliant. Continue with it. Do what you want to do. But don't call people assholes. Don't say people need to do this, otherwise they're bad people. Don't do that. If you do that, you're a bell end. I also find it hilarious that she is trying to play it off like she's this moral goddess that doesn't contribute in some way to some form of suffering. I'm sorry, but you have probably contributed to the clothing industry with clothes in the past that have most likely been made in a factory by extremely low paid workers on stupidly long hours, which is probably damaging their mental and physical health. You have have probably negatively contributed to society in the past and you probably in some way right now are still doing that. Actually, you are because you are basically bullying people into going vegan. That is not good for people. That will make people feel bad and possibly affect their mental health. By you saying this to 14 year old impressionable kids, you may upset them by doing this. But also, she, I, I guess, kind of tried to bully my girlfriend when she, when she attacked her. Number seven, it's okay to be vegan and date a non-vegan. Your girlfriend's apparently vegan. Well, here's what I think. Either, I don't know how long you've been seeing her for, either she is truly a vegan, meaning she cares about the animals, and, and if that's the case, she's extremely disappointed in you right now. She thinks you're a loser. <laughs> God, oh, it's getting personal. It's getting personal. Ah. <laughs> it just gets worse though. She's not really vegan because if she thinks it's okay for, for her boyfriend who she's gonna kiss to put his saliva with dead animals into her body, if, her, if she thinks it's okay for her boyfriend to pay money into industries to kill baby animals who never did one single thing wrong to them ever, then she's fucked. <laughs> <laughs> You are, you are, you are so unhinged. Why are you this angry? I mean, oh my God, relax. 
chill. How do you get this angry about people that live about 5,000 miles away from you? And the glorious thing is, I don't actually consume animal-based products when I'm with my girlfriend. And now, you may still say, oh, well, you're not a vegan still. Yes, I, I, I'm I, not. But I do it because my girlfriend gets sick at the smell of cooking meat. And she doesn't really like the smell of eggs. And she doesn't ask me to do that. But out of my own will, I choose to not eat those animal products. So even then, you know, she isn't getting any form of saliva from meat. She, she's not because I don't eat meat around her because I'm a bloody wonderful bloke. <laughs> but also, why are you getting so angry at my girlfriend? It seems like you've actually insulted my girlfriend in this video more times than you've insulted me. It's not okay. It's not normal. So... Let's assume that she's a true vegan, which means that she's an animal rights activist, not just vegan for her own selfish reasons. That's selfish. That's doing it because you care about yourself. That's not being vegan. See, it has been a little bit strange up until this point, but I believe this is where it's actually getting quite dangerous because it seems that she believes that humanity should prioritize animals like chickens over humanity. I think that is a dangerous belief to have. And it is not just dangerous for other people, but it's dangerous for yourself. And then it just gets even worse. And we're only 10 minutes in. Um, you are saying, uh, I've decided to go on a vegetarian, uh, I've decided to go on a vegetarian diet and starts off with roast Kenji. Okay, this is you to try to make a joke. And you're saying you're going on a vegetarian diet. Like, that wasn't, I don't know. That was supposed to be funny, making fun of eating your dog. Do you know how many videos I've seen of people who actually take dogs and put them and shove them into cages in, 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 these, uh, in, in Asian countries? They shove them into cages so tight, just literally take them and shove them in. Uh, Kenji, I think we're gonna have to put that Kenji pie on hold for now because uh, this woman clearly doesn't understand jokes. Oh, he's still asleep, you're cute, hello. You got your little feet. Who's got little feet? Who's got little feet that I can't go close to you because my camera's plugged in? I love you. Ah, you watching? Okay, back to the video. Please stop doing this. Please stop misconstruing absolutely everything I say. It was a joke. It was a little harmless. What is wrong with you? You need to be vegan. From now on. Seriously. Fuck your diet. Okay, it's not about you. Eat healthy foods and you will be fine. And you will lose weight if you just take a little bit of responsibility. I know I don't actually care about this, but she's bringing my weight into this. Why are you telling me how I can lose weight? That Only I'm allowed to tell myself that because if anyone else does, I'm going to get upset. I'm, I'm not. I don't really care that much. But I, I do just find it like it's getting a little bit personal. I feel like I'm getting actual digs right now. I am speed running this right now and I promise I didn't cheat this speed run. But then she says that... I, I guess threatened her? She just completely outright lies? And then you said, I will kick your ass if we box each other. No, I didn't. I did not say that. I said this. Seriously, get your priorities straight. They are like mainly like 15 years old. They have star accounts called Tommy and it was taken 2.4069. Like, these are the people you're, you're, you're beefing. Well, why is this such an issue to you? Maybe we need to, if you want to fight somebody, fight me. Maybe me and that vegan teacher need to have a boxing match. Actually, yeah, go to the comment section right now. If you want me to have a charity boxing match with that vegan teacher and comment below, beans. You said, I will kick your ass if we box each other. Why would you lie about that? That is such a strange lie to make. I was clearly making a joke about YouTube charity boxing matches. I don't know why you have basically made it out to sound like I'm threatening you, but I guess it's because you're trying to, I, I guess, misconstrue my arguments or my jokes to your fan base to upset them in regards to me. I think this is a genuine, really nasty thing you've done. Out of all the things we've said about each other, it's just weird that you would lie about that. You make it sound like I'm trying to threaten you. But you, Saying that you're gonna kick my ass, a man wants to fight a woman. That's just normal, right? Hey, there are a lot of women out there that could probably beat me up in a boxing match, and that includes my five-year-old niece. I feel like most people could beat me in a boxing 
<laughs> match. But yeah, let's go for gender roles. In case she genuinely believes that it was a threat, I am joking about us having a charity boxing match. And if we ever to have one, the funds could go to a vegan animal shelter. Anything like that. I'm, we're not going to have one. It was literally a joke about charity boxing matches, about Logan Paul, KSI, Jake Paul, all of them guys. And I think you know that. It was literally a joke. I didn't say I was going to beat your ass. I, why would I say that? It's a joke. And I'm genuinely annoyed now. I, this is when it starts to get just rude. And she also makes some horrific arguments after this. And I am going to get into it. She basically just tries to make a complete misrepresentation of my character. But despite everything she said about me in this video, the worst thing I apparently did in my original video... <laughs> was saying this. If people want to eat chicken nuggets, let them do it. Who cares? Yeah, that is just the worst thing you could have done. Shame on you for doing that. You know, if you are an influencer and you influence people to pay for cycles of murder. I love that a lot of influencers actually get exposed for committing serious crimes. But me, I am just the, the chicken nugget king. That is what I am guilty for. I am the proper chicken nugget king. And you know what? I am going to wear that title proudly. I keep asking for comments, but just go to the comment section and please comment. We love the nuggy king. Please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now before we go any further, I would like to put out a trigger warning to do with the subject of death. If that's going to upset you, please skip towards the end of the video because it is in regards to a rather strange and disappointing point that she makes. Now, I have glossed over a few of her points here and missed a few because they are just her repeating herself. We are going to get onto her worst possible point in the entire video of where she basically tries to weaponize people taking their own lives. Vegan phobia is funny. Maybe there's some, you, you, you think vegan phobia is funny and you, you think there's a, something you're missing. I'll tell you what you're missing is that children have committed suicide because of vegan phobia. They are at school, they are vegan and they are deeply caring human beings. And when they see these dead animals around them and they start crying or they, 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 they you know, kids tease them by waving bacon into their faces or- As somebody who has been affected by this specific topic in my life, I really find it disgusting that you are trying to weaponize something like this. I really think that is just a vile way of you trying to bolster veganism. And I know for a fact every vegan other than you would agree with me. That is quite disgusting what you are doing there. And, and if there really is a case of people, you know, taking their own lives because of being bullied about being a vegan, that is absolutely horrific. That is disgusting. And I condemn anyone that bullies somebody to that point. But my point is that you are basically saying that people who aren't vegan are the ones pushing vegan phobia, which leads to terrible things like what you just said. And I think that is awful that you would even suggest that. People just make jokes and that is absolutely fine. I think that's completely fine. I don't really find vegan jokes funny anymore, maybe in the past, but now. But even then, what you are trying to do there, weaponizing such a serious topic, I really think that's disgusting. To me, it just feels like she is taking real issues affecting human beings and making a mockery out of them to try and bolster her ideology of supreme veganism. Like, what are you doing here? Look, I, I'm sure that there possibly is cases to do with this and that is horrible, but you can't weaponize that. That is terrible that you would even attempt that. Now, to conclude this video, I believe that vegan teacher is just a complete and utter grifter. I don't think she cares about anything she says here, and it is just simply to get a reaction. Maybe I'm wrong in saying that, but I do just believe she does all of this for reactions, and yes, I'm giving her attention, but at the end of the day, it is funny, and she has made a whole video on me, so what, am I just not going to respond? She's responded completely in her right to, and she's completely in her right to respond again. Do it again, I would bloody love the views. But that is the ending of this video. This response video is absolutely shocking. Please do not send her any hate whatsoever. Just give your thoughts in my comment section, that is completely fine to do so. But also, please go follow my social medias. This is the ending of the video. I don't know if this was cut abruptly, but please go follow iNabba69 on Twitter, iNabba on Instagram. And also, can we set a like goal of around 45 thousand likes. If we get 45,000 likes, I may do a part three to this video. That would be wonderful. Please subscribe as well. I am trying to hit 700,000 subs by my birthday, but that is the ending of this video. Please, that vegan teacher, just chill out. 
relax. Maybe stop going at 14 year olds for not being vegan because that is just a little bit odd. But that is the ending of the video. Peace out people, have a bloody wonderful day and I apologize if this video was too long. Bye.